Hello, 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 everybody. Brian here from quantlabs.net. Today, I want to just go over the latest I've been talking about when it comes to social media and all that. I want to say thanks to everybody who's uh, given the support on this social media business, but I just wanted to show you something that's been going on. Um, I looked up uh, using DuckDuckGo, not Google. I looked up um, hotels, foreign hotels from DuckDuckGo. I think it was just coming up with Expedia, but this video or this image came up on my Facebook. Pretty scary stuff when on my phone, Facebook knows I'm searching on DuckDuckGo and it asked me for a survey on what to, kind of ads to serve up. If this sort of stuff does not scare you, you don't care, you shouldn't be watching this video. And I think you should go back to living the life of serfdom that's quickly coming upon us. So Facebook's bad. YouTube has censored me due to talking dangerous content about crypto, which is basically another way of saying we, we're not going to allow you to talk about uh, financial liberty, liberation and all that. Um, and as a result, I don't talk about that kind of content or that digital asset class on my, on my YouTube channel. Um, Facebook's very restricting as well. So uh, yesterday I put out a blurb about uh, putting all my social contact, all my social contact on my own. It's not really my own technology, but third party uh, technology that I, I kind of own and control on a chat server that I've kind of promoted here and there. And um, to be honest, uh, it's the best place to be because there's no logging, no tracking, no 30 party, nothing. People can uh, come in anonymously, sign up, talk freely and not have to worry about uh, being uh, tracked as I said. So I've opened up Rumble, uh, Telegram, Discord. And at the same time, I'm just not getting the engagement I'd like to see on those networks. Plus I'm now starting to think that both Telegram and Discord are part of this fix. So I said, you know what, it's time to get off. No more wasting time. Just put it all in one resource for everybody that's interested in what, what I'm doing, build up a community out of this. And that's what I'm going to do. So I just want to put out a response on this topic. And uh, here's some of those uh, from uh, customers, uh, from customers to be regular contacts. This is really important because it goes to show this is not a democratic thing. It's not a republic, uh, Republican or, or uh, liberal versus um, uh, conservative it has nothing to do with um, even racial or any kind of identity at all. Because in these email responses, these are from people that are out of Asia, one's out of Kenya, one's out of Trinidad, one's out of the UK. Um, and uh, I'm not sure, but majority of people are not of my uh, racial background. <laughs> so here's what was said, looking for comments to dump social media with all in effort on private chat server. Let me know what you think by responding to this email, see my video on this topic. So again, uh, I kind of put it up freely and uh, these are the responses I got. I'll come back to this one. Uh, one said, less is always more, in my opinion, given the general social media is restrictive as to what you can express. And the fact it is only going to get more restrictive going for, I will go for private chat server. That's a good claim. I think that it would be easier to say abreast of all information if it was centrally located on the chat server. Bobby, yes, just on the chat server would be good. Here's a long one, which I think is quite interesting. This one came, I believe, from somebody in Trinidad. And it's been following me for a while. Thank you everyone for responding to this. So again, these are not political, it's not social. This is just based upon people's privacy, uh, liberation, and so on. As I may have said, suggested to be successful at anything, you must have a singular focus, no distractions. Totally agree. Yes, I've seen your post, some little joke here and there, and I would respond. That's on Facebook. 
However, one of the things I've seen happen would be folks sending me links to potentially useful stuff in Facebook or in Facebook groups and that may have something of value. So you're not going to be avoiding social media there. Also, sometimes things may not go your way and my advice and it's secondhand is to find other interests. If you get stuck, you will need to get your mind off things for a while, but you may find yourself in social media again. This has to be proven because that is very true. It's like a drug. So you need to balance the things that you're doing. Also, you want to be fanatically against the social media thing because that will be, uh, will require effort. Let your direction naturally make it disappear somehow. So there's a reference to, I um, can't remember the guy's name, but whatever it is, oh, Tim Ferriss, how to master any skill and completely change your life. So essentially what drives me on uh, social media is generally um, fishing for um, email opt-ins organically. So that's the reason why I'm on, on these platforms. Um, but now what's been happening over the last year or two is most of the organic email opt-ins, usually a good chunk of them, 90% come uh, via YouTube and Google search. So that's the only place right now that I'm finding it. Everything else is kind of a waste of time and yeah, just a waste of time and energy. So as a result, um, I'm going to be, it's all about where, where those opt-ins come from for email. Obviously, that's how you grow a business. So um, as it stands right now, uh, with the chat server, I'm looking at some technical stuff, uh, what can be done, what cannot be done. Um, so I'll be peeling back my interest in everything social media wise. Hopefully this will start happening in a few weeks and uh, get myself off of this scourge. As I said, I'm just really sick of having this sort of thing like kind of in your face based upon what you search. Uh, just, it's just, it's bad. And, and that's just what the data that they're collecting on what you think they're collecting, let alone other things. I've read how uh, the current US administration wants to uh, uh, censor your text messaging in real time for, so that they know that you're not talking about the global sickness and all the, the medication or, well, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that to avoid getting censored. But living in that kind of world, it's pretty sickening. And as long as we participate in it, we just perpetuate that problem further. So the more people that disengage from it, the better. Um, but unfortunately, there, I'd say 98% of the population are virtually dumb and morons, really, because they, they either argue it or just don't see it. And I'm one of them because I'm kind of technical and I do the marketing aspect as well. So I know what's going on. So I'm truly trying to get off of this stuff. And as a result, um, hopefully I can find ways to circumvent opt-in, uh, email opt-ins via marketing on places like, I don't know, dare I say Microsoft ads or other sources that I, I, I can look at. Uh, if you know of any, let me know. Um, but thanks for watching. And uh, this, is, this is why and how everything's going like this. We'll talk to you later. Thanks.